Let's go ahead and see what we can do with uh, maybe just a touch of terracotta. I think as we get over to this edge in a couple places, I'm using the color race terracotta. I won't be using the other pencils uh, any sooner than I have to because the color race is going to give me the most versatility in being able to uh, manipulate the, the value, the intensity, molding it, and all those things. I'm going to think about how light works just the same as I would. These are just solid principles that, that work uh, regardless of the medium. This is why people say that once they have really uh, studied maybe the five pencil method, it's not that other, other uh, uh, methods don't use these solid principles, but uh, they, uh, they are better painters and they're better this and better that by having at least learned some of the very basic things when to use a clean edge and when to use a uh, a soft contour let's see I kinda like what's happening there and you know what I get to reverse out if I get too much of that terracotta in there I can take that layer off a little bit or else go right down you know pretty close to the paper again it's gonna it's gonna be hard to remove everything uh, when we're working with the color but it'll go pretty good if you're gliding on the paper and being patient and watching your values build up and your colors build up and as we see these things in uh, you know uh, in more intensity or trying to at least uh, balance these uh, these colors out I don't want for me I don't want it to dominate and I want to uh, have an idea, just as I was starting to see, maybe I didn't have the shape quite like I thought I did because I started adding another element to it and it started uh, exposing some of the other, uh, uh, you know, uh, variances in uh, what I had drawn. And it's the same thing as I go on here. I'm going to start seeing how I want to bring intensity to the blacks. I don't want them to be just dominant and start having your eye go right to that. But uh, there's going to be a lot of balance as we go. I'm going to take this brown. I'm going to come in here and go over my graphite a little bit. And work in some of these darker areas. A little variance in there too. You see how this is a little bit lighter and it's a little darker on both sides. Uh, I'm just looking at some of those inner elements there. And I don't think the brown will show up so much brown with it when it's layered with the green and and uh, the the other colors so and and even if it does come up a little rich a little brown I can subdue it by coming in there with a different color over it this is one reason it's just like painting is one reason why you don't need every color in the palette you don't need to make, uh, I've made that mistake over the years. Well, I've, I consider it a mistake because I don't want to spend any more money on it than I have to. But I want to buy what I need. <clears throat> and over the years, I would just learn that uh, mixing was a whole lot better than expecting to find that perfect color. Yes, the, the uh, companies will try to put out just the color they think you might need and if you buy every one of them you'll have quite an array and they all get old and uh, this way you can keep your paints fresh you don't have to worry about having so many in storage because you have every color that exists and meanwhile all your your watercolors and your acrylics and your oils are all drying out Color is a fascinating thing. <clears throat> 